Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong, 2014 Interbike, and we're having an absolute blast. We were walking by Ridley, and we had to stop. These guys always do such an innovative job in the way they build their bikes, and I knew they'd have some new technology. So we stopped, talked to Richard a little bit about the new Ridley Noah SL. So he's going to walk us through this bike, tell you what they've done new this year for you. If you haven't test rode one of these yet or got out there on one of these bikes, you really, really should. Performance is amazing. I've rode their road bike one time, absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, we all know that I built the Pinarello this year, but who knows, we could build something new. So anyway, uh, we'll take a look at this. Richard, walk us through this bike. Tell us what's so cool about it. I'm going to hand you the mic. Thanks. Uh, no SL, brand new, just launched at Eurobike about a week and a half ago. Okay. We're integrating all of the best technologies that we have from our NOAA range, where we started the whole aero trend back six years ago. And what we tried to do is kind of take all of the innovation that we had with that bike and sort of blend it with the new lighter weight technology and resins and combine that with sort of the ride qualities of our Helium SL range, to sort of create the super bike. Wow. Right? Super. So we have, the, the frame weighs under 950 grams, so you're still in that svelte category, but with still a full aero profile, so we're still cheating the wind. We've molded in two of our patented technologies into this bike. The first is what we call the F-Surface Plus, which is this little um, groove that we've molded into the frame. And just think of it as like a golf ball's dimples. What it does is creates a, a surface layer of, um, of uh, microturbulence that allows the wind when it passes over the tube to stay nice and tight up against that frame, uh, cutting wind resistance. We also have our F-Split Fork, which actually uh, reduces uh, frontal drag by about 7% by creating a negative turbulence zone within the forks passing through, I'm sorry, the spokes passing through the fork. And uh, so just a lot of innovation as opposed to just a me too type of thing. Um, we haven't gone overboard though. This is a racing bike, right? You got to hang out of a car and it just brakes at 30 miles an hour. So we use standard caliper brakes on this bike, not our integrated F brake or those linear pull brakes because quite frankly, you know what, you got to stop a bike. And so we made sure that we kept safety and serviceability as, as an utmost for us. You know, Belgians tend to be a bit more pragmatic a, a, as, a, uh, as an engineering class. So we wanted to make sure that you could build it, stop it, service it. A um, couple other key issues. Uh, I just want to ask one really yeah. quick thing. So when you're when you're doing that, as far as adjustability and all that kind of stuff on the bike, and you're thinking that through, though, how much do you lose in aero in this? I mean, is it is it that significant? Yeah, you know, there is a loss, right? No, I mean, we're not going to bullshit on that. It's less than one and a half percent, and it all depends on the yaw angle of the frame and of the wind coming at you. But overall, we still feel we're about three to four percent faster than a standard round two bike. All right, great. So uh, kind of working our way back through the bike, we use uh, integrated seat clamp, getting everything out of the, uh, the back end here, smoothing it up uh, so the air flows nice and uh, smoothly over the bike. Uh, also makes it super easy to adjust. One bolt, loosen, slide, ratchet. Comes with the integrated seat post, which we, for our production models, integrate to paint, paint to match, kind of give it a little bit of that pro flare. Uh, rear end of the bike, We've uh, lowered the seat stays to the more aero position, kind of pulling the mounting point out of the wind, making it a little bit more slippery. But when the other kind of second benefit we get out of it is we uh, actually increase the uh, vertical compliance of the bike, so it's a little bit more comfortable than the previous generation was. We still retain 100% of the bottom bracket stiffness that we do on the NOAA Fast, so for the big heavy sprinter guys like Andre Greipel, they still love it and they've got to. But we've also improved the actual uh, front end lateral stiffness uh, by about eh, about eight percent. So you're going to get a, a bike that even sprints more uh, more solidly than its previous generations. We've uh, tuned the actual layup on the carbon fiber so that even though we've made it stiffer laterally, you're still not going to you're not going to get beat up. So it, it, we've actually we've we've softened the actual feel of the bike up to absorb more road shock. Sounds like you thought of everything. We sure hope so. That's great. All right, well, uh, like I say, I'd love you to check out the Ridley whole brand uh, line, everything like that. Um, we just talked a little bit about their cross bikes, looked at this bike, 
absolutely an impressive company. If you haven't checked them out, please do so. But most of all, keep out there riding your bike and cycling strong. Thanks for watching this segment. There's a whole bunch more of Interbike 2014. And uh, check those videos out also. We'll be talking to you soon.